Let's be honest, some of you haven't used PHP for 20 years now, and probably back in the days it would look something like this. Everything was unsafe, things were untyped, insanely verbose. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how can you move from this into PHP in 2025. My name is Nuno and welcome to my channel. Just like in C Sharp or Java, you can also assign visibility to properties and functions in PHP. So let's start by that and replacing this var with something like private. And then every time we have a function, let's make explicit that this function is public by assigning the visibility public to this functions. Next, unlike you might think, PHP just like TypeScript or Rust is also fully typed, meaning that I can go to these properties and I can type them. Let's type here that this name is a string, but also this age is an integer. We can do the same thing, not only on the arguments, but also on properties. Let's go all the way up and say that this name is a string and this age is an integer, but also on the getters. Every time I get the name, it will be a string, but also every time I get an age, this will be an integer. So PHP in 2025 is equally fully typed. Hey, just a quick pause to say that I have this dream of reaching 100k subscribers and still be talking about PHP. So if you enjoyed this video just a little bit, go all the way down, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Video. Now, if you want to be a little bit more strict about types, you can go all the way top and add this declare strict types one. What this will do is that even if you provide a string with a value zero, PHP won't accept it because it needs to be explicitly an integer value. Now, this class is the value object, so we don't actually plan to change the state inside. So what we can do is instruct PHP about that and use this read only modifier before the class to instruct PHP that the state will never change. And in fact, if we try to mutate the name or the age, PHP will prevent that from happening thanks to the read only keyword. And now that the state can change, what we can do is actually make these properties fully public because they cannot change anyways, meaning that we can go all the way down and also remove all these getters. There is a few more things we can do to make this code a little bit better. One of them is called the property promotion. So when you are providing arguments to a constructor and those arguments will be assigned directly to properties, what you can do is assign those properties directly on those arguments. So what I will do here is declare the visibility of the name directly on the argument and do the same thing with the age. And by doing this, we can effectively remove this code, but also this code, making effectively the guest class looking as beautiful as this. Now, there is one final thing you can do to favor composition instead of inheritance, which is marking classes as final, especially classes that you want to strictly forbid them for being inherited. So what you can do is add this final keyword, meaning that if someone were to extend this class, PHP will prevent that from happening. Now, that was just a small example in PHP in 2025. There is many things we haven't covered today, things like enums, attributes, name it arguments, and more. If you don't know more about PHP, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm literally talking about them every single time. Just like any modern language, PHP's tooling have also massively improved in 2025. We have our own TypeScript with PHP stand, we have our own linting with Pint, but also testing, we have past PHP. Hope this video gives you a different perspective how modern PHP is today. If you want to start with PHP, go to php.new and it's literally one command. Hope you enjoyed the video and catch you guys next time.